In this video, you're going to learn how to make the best spinach artichoke dip. If you have tried this dip at Cheesecake Factory or Applebee's, you're going to be amazed how easy it is to make it at home. So let's get into it. But before we get started, let's play that B-roll. To make this recipe, we're going to start off by boiling three artichokes. I'm going to use something heavy like a plate so that my artichokes get fully submerged underwater. And we're going to boil this for about 30 minutes. I happen to have medium sized artichokes, but if you have smaller artichokes, boil it for about 20 to 25 minutes. By the way, full detail recipe is in the description below. Once you're done, remove it from the hot water bath and let them cool down. I didn't do a good job of cooling them down, so it really burned my fingertips, but it's okay. Once your artichokes have cooled down, go ahead and start removing the petals. Out of this entire artichoke, all we want is the heart and the stem. That's where the meat really is. If you look at this diagram, you can see where the heart and stem really is towards the bottom. So you have to remove everything in order to get there. Once you're done removing all the petals, your artichoke should look something like this. Again, just to show you how much petals I had to remove just to get that little piece of artichoke. Next, we're going to clean the stem. Some people don't like to use the stem, but I do because there's still a lot of artichoke stuff in there. Next, use a spoon to remove the choke of the artichoke. Looks like a little hairy something contraption, but I do admit it's really satisfying to remove it. Here's another angle on how to remove the choke. It's really easy if you use a spoon. The heart and stem that you're left with is really custardy. I tasted it just like that and it tasted like nothing. It had no flavor whatsoever. Next, I went ahead and diced the artichoke so that it's easier to cook. By the way, a fun fact, did you know that artichoke is a flower bud that hasn't bloomed? Here's what artichoke looks like once the flower has bloomed. To me, this was pretty fascinating. Also, we're going to take some spinach and boil it for about three to five minutes. You know when spinach has fully boiled when it turns dark green like this. Also, when boiling the spinach, remember to add some salt. Once it's boiled, you want to chop it pretty finely, just like you did with the artichoke. Next, you're going to take about two cloves of garlic and chop them pretty finely. You're also going to need about half an onion, which you want to dice pretty finely as well. Making the spinach dip reminds me of making chicken alfredo pasta, which almost uses the same ingredients minus the artichoke. If you do want to check out my chicken alfredo pasta recipe, here's a link to that. But for now, let's continue with the spinach artichoke dip. To make the dip, you're going to need about one tablespoon of oil. I'm using olive oil. Next, we're going to add about two tablespoons of butter. I always add some oil with some butter because otherwise the butter burns very quickly. Next, toss in your onions. Let them cook a little until they turn translucent. Should take about one to two minutes. Next, you want to add in your finely chopped garlic. Wait for one to two more minutes and go ahead and add in your artichoke. At this point, we're just mixing in and tossing in all the ingredients. We already cooked the artichoke when we boiled it for about 30 minutes, so it should be ready to go. Add in some salt as per your taste. I'm using about half a teaspoon. Also add about one teaspoon of black pepper. Go ahead and mix everything up pretty nicely. We want to evenly distribute salt, pepper, and all the ingredients. Next, to make the sauce, creamy and rich, we're going to add about one cup of heavy cream. You're going to turn up the heat and wait for this dip to boil. Once it starts boiling, go ahead and add in your spinach. Go ahead and mix it up nicely and let it all cook for one to two minutes. From this point, all we're waiting to do is wait for the sauce to get thicker. For added flavor and creaminess, I added about one fourth cup of mozzarella cheese and about one tablespoon of Parmesan cheese. This is optional. You don't have to do it, but I just did it for added flavor. Once you notice that the sauce slash dip is getting thicker, go ahead and turn off the heat. Mix everything one last time to make sure all the ingredients get evenly distributed and go ahead and take it off the heat. The final stage is baking this. For baking, transfer this into another pan. Put some mozzarella on top for that nice crust and go ahead and pop it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the cheese melts and gets golden. You're going to bake this at 350 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. If you followed all my steps, it should look something like this. To serve this, serve it with some bread and with some tortilla chips. At least that's how it's served at Cheesecake and Applebee's. For the taste test, it tasted just like the exact same thing that you get at the restaurant. So 10 out of 10 for that. So that's pretty much it for making spinach artichoke dip. Let me know in the comments below if you liked it or not. Your feedback is highly appreciated. I'm really happy with how this recipe turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I look forward to hearing your feedback in the comments below. I upload new videos every Thursday, so stay tuned for my next one. Do remember to subscribe if you enjoyed this video.